Well, I, you know, I think initially what you need is an assessment uh, from the Commission uh, as to whether uh, the Human Rights Clause um, uh, is in breach because uh, one of the values that the European Union is founded on uh, is human rights and uh, a country that uh, sees itself as a Western, as a liberal democracy like Israel, we expect them to uphold those standards. Could you have a few countries then deciding to recognise Palestine together? Because obviously you're not going to have 27, mm. but we heard David Cameron, for example, saying that maybe the UK could do yeah. What would you yeah, well, well there, are, there are a number of, uh, of EU countries that already do recognise Palestine, um, and then there are a number of others that uh, are willing to do it, including Ireland. Um, but we just don't want to do it in the form of a press release, um, you know, that has no meaningful outcome two or three days later, and then you just get called on to do the next thing that has no meaningful purpose two or three days later. That's not the approach that we want. Um, what we want to work towards uh, is a situation whereby there is a ceasefire, uh, in Gaza, the killing ends, the hostages are released, the humanitarian get, get aid gets in, and that uh, um, a refreshed or reformed Palestinian authority could then take over control of Gaza. We could support that and then recognise that as the legitimate Palestinian state. So that's the kind of thing that we're talking about. On, on the issue of farming, uh, which was discussed today, 